Hey, uh, Raphael. It's me. Who's this? This is Chris. You had put in a form trying to sell the property on Moorings Drive. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. That's yeah. That's uh... Yeah, I was just trying to get back with you, see what I can do to help you out. Uh, what's going on with the house there? Well, nothing, nothing wrong. I'm just, I'm just moving back oh, okay. to Brazil. So, uh, yeah, I need to sell the property. Okay, leaving, leaving the country. Say, so get out of here before the election, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going to leave before the thunders come. I know, before the craziness starts. So what kind yeah, of time exactly. are you on? Uh, when would you like to be done and out of this property? Well, uh, this is the thing. I would love to get this thing done as soon as possible, but my deadline will be something around end of, end of October, somewhere around November. That's where I need to, you know, be out of the country. Oh, okay. So anytime before that is good? Anytime before that is good. Yeah. Perfect. That's, perfect. Uh, okay. Yeah. Just uh, by the way, I just decided this not too long ago, so I'm just trying to figure stuff out, you know, like price wise and I never sold the house over here, so just kinda knew how how I'm gonna proceed with that. Try to yeah. understand what's gonna be my you know, like the take out from my for my paycheck. I don't know, it's just need to figure those things out as well perfect yep and so like i said my name is chris i'm with st louis cash bars i'm going to walk you through every step of the way and make this easy and simple as possible um now the thing is with us there is no real estate fees commissions we won't try to you know charge you fees or anything like that uh, we try to make this an easy transaction for you so um how do you see all this playing out like in a perfect scenario for you well, perfect scenario for me. I think we we'll, uh, we we'll, we're gonna sell the house in sixty days, right? That can definitely be done. Sure. You think this is doable? Yeah, I don't see any reason why not. Well, we closed yeah. deals as soon as two or three weeks. We I've even done one on the same day of an auction one time. I bought the day a house a day of an auction and stopped the auction for a lady. You know, I don't recommend doing them short term like that, but we can definitely accommodate most things as long as everybody's on the same page mm -hmm. now is it just you or is it going to be you and a wife or yeah the entire family oh okay so she'll have to sign off on any paperwork as well actually this this property over here is under my dad's name so probably he's gonna sign up all the paperwork oh okay dad's name okay yeah. and he's here in the country it's gonna be here pretty, pretty short Okay, cool. So, um, what do you think you would like to get as far as a price, like to just sell it and be done with it? Well, I, I don't know, man. I just, uh, did you, by the way, my address pop up for you? Uh, yeah, on Moorings Drive, Lake St. Louis. I don't know if you already uh, went through the proper details and take it like a you know, like check that out, and because you know better than it, what uh, better than I, how much this stuff could value. Yeah. So um, I haven't looked at all the details yet. I usually like to speak to people first to see if they even are a good fit uh, for us. So there's, I guess, two ways to look at this. One, uh, you know, most people put it on the market and see what you can get for it and try to get maximum value extracted out of it. Or two, some people just sell for cash fast and be done with it and don't have to wait and we close when you're ready. So uh, which one of those do you think fits best for you? Uh, no, I, I want to see how much I can get on this property. So, you, so you're thinking about listing it and putting it on the market and see what you can get that way? Yeah, see, and just feel the market, yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that's what uh, that's what I want to make sure because, like I said, we, we buy cash, but we don't necessarily buy the top of retail when we buy cash that way. But I can still help you either way. Uh, it just depends on which direction you would like to go. Um, so, 
as far as the property is concerned, you'd rather wait the time out. I'm just going to be clear uh, to see to try to get as much as possible. Is that correct? Uh huh. Yeah. And so, what what did you have in mind as far as that part? You're thinking what five or six hundred thousand or something like that, or uh. I don't know. I have two uh, two realtors coming in next week to do the valuation, and I think I'm gonna go from there. You know, like price wise, because um, yeah, I I really don't know because by the by if I if I look through Zillow, Zillow is saying like six hundred ish. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Which I did like a lot of upgrade at the house, so I think it's valued more than that. So you think it's more than what Zillow even says? You think it's in the seven hundred range or something? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So to get something like that, yeah, I would definitely recommend to put it on the market and try to get that bigger number. Um, as mm-hmm. far as that, now there is one other way to be able to get you know a bigger price. But that's something that we usually do when we structure something more creative, where we usually get you your money, some of your money now, and the rest over time. Is that something you guys think you could do, or you rather sell it all out? Yeah, as I just said to you, um, I think I I need to have somebody else over here that has experience and take a look at the house, and you know, like give me an insight what should be valuing give me like a hint yeah yeah we can definitely help you with that that's not a problem but if you think you're going to have a couple of real estate agents come out and what which uh you say you have two coming out so what would you uh base your decision off of as far as those real estate agents coming out uh i just want to well the only reason i want to get them over here is because i want to I want to feel from them what actually I can get from this property or I what you know it's I know exactly they're gonna put a little bit uh, you know like a little bit uh, 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 estimate on this property but uh, I know I I will have an idea Okay, because from what I'm pulling it up now, it looks mm. like it's probably is going to be worth you know the low 600s. Uh, from what I'm seeing, let me see here. Uh, was this listed recently? Back- huh? Oh no. Okay, this was back when you bought it in 2020. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Redfin says 576. Yeah, I'm thinking it's probably in the 600s range as far as a retail. But you got to remember, if you did sell it. For you know the top dollar you're thinking, you have to still account for the real estate commissions, mm-hmm. the fees, the closing costs, and you also mm-hmm. have to factor in the person that's buying your property has to meet all the criteria to buy the property, especially if they're getting a loan, which they're going to have to go through whatever process that is, which can take time. Now, if you have six, seven months to put into this, yes, I think you can definitely go for it and try to get it. But mm-hmm. that's only if you really want to, you know, spend that much time and energy and effort. Plus, you know, when you start getting uh, things like that, the buyers get extremely picky. You know, and I'm just talking from experience because we buy and sell a lot of real estate. Um, uh-huh. you know, that the buyers get picky and the lenders get picky. They want you to do extra things. Uh, you know, just little stuff. I mean, it, it's not a bit bad thing. It just if you want to get into all of that, it can definitely be done. But it just, if you have time, it would work. But if you're looking just to sell it for cash and be done with it and make it an easy transition, I would recommend mm-hmm. the cash sale. It just depends on you on that part. No, yeah, I get I get what you're saying. I, I understood. Uh, you know what? It, it, it's just kind of fresh. My, I just took this decision, not, as I just said to you, not, not so long ago. And it's something that I just need to, you know, think a little bit more, you know. Uh-huh. Which which path I'm gonna take it, but uh, hey, Chris, is that- yeah. So so let me ask you this: If somebody, uh, so say if we were to come in as a cash purchase 
and you just mm-hmm. we make it and we pay all the closing costs real estate commissions everything i mean what would you take mm-hmm. for the house as a cash deal and just be done with it easy clean no waiting close as soon as you're ready what would you take okay for it? so uh you want to send somebody else over here take a look uh, on the property i can show you all the upgrades that i did Vic, sure you know we, we, we'd love to come see it but in but, the event uh, of, but if you were to sell it just as a cash deal what would you take for it i don't know i gotta make some math i gotta i need a little a little time to think about that what's your name again by the way my name is chris chris uh-huh and i'm with st louis cash buyers because we you know and, and i'm and i'm just looking at it you know i know you said you probably want to be in the sevens i don't see anything over there selling in the seven i all right let me see i see something did sell for 675 but that was back last year so we really can't even use that that's over six months ago that was in november one sold for 675 and then i mm-hmm. see that was a three car garage we see another one here that sold for let's see what is how many beds and baths is this house it's a uh, two and a half uh, it's two full bathrooms and two half bathrooms two half baths two full baths and then how many um bedrooms uh one two three four bathrooms i'm not even gone the basement because we have uh, another ba- another uh uh, bedrooms out there too oh okay so yeah so I'm looking at some of the properties that sold nearby and like I said that one sold for 675 but that was last November it's kind of too far out we typically want to go six months and within a certain uh, in the same subdivision if we can so we want a property mm-hmm. that's sold nearby and the more we have to sell for a, a higher price the better because one can sell for a lot and another one may not. So it depends because sometimes when we see these properties when they sell, it may mm-hmm. show that somebody paid seven ninety nine, but they got a hundred thousand dollar credit back from the seller or something silly. You know that won't reflect on just seeing a sold price. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So things like that can happen. But I do see. Let's see. This sold for six eighty five. This sold for six fifteen. So yeah, they sold, you know, in the in the mid to upper sixes as far as, you know, retail. But as a cash deal, we would probably be a little bit below that. But that would be like I say, it would count for all your fees. It actually ends up about the same to be honest. When you factor in both real estate commissions, your title company, all of that, because that's about ten percent just in closing costs alone. Mm-hmm. So whatever you sell it for, see if you sold it for seven hundred, you can knock seventy thousand off that right out the gate just because of fees, because of the closing costs, the real estate agents on both sides. You see what I'm saying? And then any other yeah. seller concessions they may need, and you have time to factor into that. So if you have time, you can definitely go for it. But if you don't have time and you want to be out of there in sixty days, a cash option probably would be a lot better for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, oh, I gotcha. I so let me ask you this uh, idea. If we were to come in and say in the uh, you know upper five hundreds range as a cash deal, is that something you would consider? No. So you would want to be upper sixes? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. Or what? What are you saying? Where, where would you like to be on it to just sell it? Uh, I can't tell right now because if I say. <laughs> Uh, I got to do some math over here. I, I need to think a little bit to give you a number because this is a big decision. I don't want to say something that I have to go back, you know. Yeah. How much did you still owe on it? Huh? How much did you still owe on the property? I bought on the February 2021. Yeah, just like three years and a half. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I understand that. How much did you still owe, like, to pay it off? Oh, uh, you're talking about the the lender, the bank. Three, 
24, I guess. That's my payout. Okay. So you just try to make sure you get that covered, and then you have to put something in your pocket. Um, but yeah, like course. I said, we, we can look at a, a creative option as well. I mean, but I don't know if that would necessarily help you. To, we can get you the most amount of money. It just won't all be up front. You would get some of that now and the rest over time. Is that something you would even consider? Uh, what? Uh, how, how 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 long are you talking about the rest? Uh, so every deal is uh, different. I mean, we usually get them paid off in full within somewhere between five to seven years. Mm-hmm. But it will get your property sold for top dollar and quickly without all the inspections and things that you know go with going through them through the market and having a bunch of people track through your house and things, you know. Okay, yeah. Just explain this to me again, because yeah. I quite not understand this 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 particular uh, deal. Yeah. So what we would do is we we could you know what we've done in the past, I guess we could say, uh, we would structure a deal around the debt you have. We would give you mm-hmm. some of your money at closing, X number, whatever that number is, we can agree on. We would give you some of your money at closing, and we would continue making that monthly payment on your property each and every month, just like if you were. So basically, we would be taking over the payments of the property and getting the property sold quickly, um, going through title, just like any other transaction. So basically, mm-hmm. we would buy your house, take over full responsibility for maintenance, repairs, anything that goes on with the house. You'll fully be out of the house selling it. The only thing that would say is the loan would say in your name, and we would continue making that payment uh, while you go and move out of the country. And we would get that that and your equity all paid off sometime in the near future when we get it cashed out. Now, what about that would not work for your situation? Yeah. Yeah, that I I don't think I'm interested on that. What about that scenario would not help you out? Uh, because I'm gonna I'm gonna need the 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 cash to buy my 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 other property, my other my other home. So that makes sense. How much cash did you need to buy your other house? <laughs> I don't know. I. <laughs> I, I I didn't look for another one, so. Yeah, and I'm just trying to look and see what options are available because, like I say, there's more than one way to sell a house. You know, a lot of people think uh-huh. throwing it on the market and praying is the only way, but there's more than one way to sell it. So, and I'm just uh-huh. looking at options. I mean, I'm not locking you in anything like that. I was just asking because if, say, you needed, I don't know, 50000 or something, we probably could get you that at closing and then pay the rest over time. I mean, is something like that even doable or not really? I don't think so. Okay. Not a problem, Raphael. So either way, I'll send you a, uh email offer either way on the property uh, so you can at least have something in your back pocket. And I'll have some frequently asked questions about that creative structure I was just talking about that you can actually yeah. see. And uh, what was the uh, monthly payment on the house uh, with that 324 balance? Uh... To twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred, and that includes the taxes and insurance. Everything. Perfect, perfect. So yeah, I'll get you something in writing just so you have it, and you'll uh, you know know who you spoke to and everything. Other than that, Raphael, did you have any other questions for me for today before I let you go? No, just leave me your contact. Uh, I'm gonna you know like tweak some some stuff over here, and maybe I can call you back. Yeah, you can call back anytime because, I mean, like I said, even yeah. if you don't sell me the house, I will help you out either way. So I just want to make sure you're okay. taken care of. We can't buy every house yeah. we try to buy, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh-huh. That's not no, realistic. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to send you a text right after this call. It's going to have our company information, my name, everything on it. And uh, if you just mm-hmm. write back the email address, I'll get you that email off or sent to you today, okay? That sounds good. Yeah. Right. Appreciate that, Chris. All right. You have a good day. Thank you. You too, buddy. Thank you.
Are you looking for the best dialer to reach your leads? Try OnlineBurnerPhone.com. You can reach four times more contacts per hour and build a stronger, more engaged pipeline. Now, when you check this out at OnlineBurnerPhone.com, you no longer have to listen to voicemail recordings. Once you hear they pick up by voicemail, you simply press a button and it leaves your personalized voicemail for your prospect. You can also send personalized emails. You can also retarget your contacts. And guess what? All calls are recorded and tracked for quality and training purposes. Try it out today with no credit card. OnlineBurnerPhone.com. OnlineBurnerPhone.com. Hey, Chris, is that you?